Hey friends, welcome back. My name is Michaela and I have a requested video that I'm sharing with you today. Some of you have been wanting some longer practices. So this is a 30 minute class and many of you have been loving the feel good fluid flows. So that's exactly what we're gonna move through today. This class is a vinyasa practice. So it's fluid, it's smooth, finding the balance between both stretch and strength and feeling out this dance between movement and breath. If you want some music to listen to as we flow together, I've linked the playlist below. Hit play as soon as we hop on the mat and I will see you there. All right, if you have your playlist ready and you want that music to flow to, we hit play together in three, two, one, go. And we're gonna get started lying down on our backs, okay? So find your way down to a comfortable position on your back body. So you might start with stretching the legs out long or maybe grounding your feet on the mat. Maybe even placing your legs in a different position like a diamond shape. Just find any position here that feels neutral and that feels grounding. Notice where your arms and your hands naturally land. Are they alongside your body or are your hands resting on your rib cage, your belly, your chest? Let's give ourselves one really big breath here. Inhale through the nose, breathe into belly, to rib cage, to chest, and big exhale. Good, wherever you are, start to stretch your legs out long, reach your arms up overhead, big inhale to lengthen, and exhale to soften. Gather the knees in towards your chest. Give yourself a nice little rock side to side. And still taking those deep breaths, feeding that extra bit of oxygen into your body because it feels good. Really, that's all it's about, right? Feeling good, creating space within your body and your mind to be here, to be present. Now let your body land at center. Take an inhale and guide your knees out wide. Hold this beautiful stretch in the inner thighs, inner edges of the hips. Maybe even rotate the ankles. Awesome, feel length in the spine from top of the head all the way down to your low back. Take one big breath and exhale. And bring your knees back towards one another. Hold on behind your knees. Slowly rock on up to a seated position, but then open your legs to a diamond shape. Bottoms of the feet touch, knees open wide. You might hold on to your ankles or your shins. Inhale to lift up tall spine. Exhale to hinge forward over top of your legs. Let your head drop. Let your spine round. Just let this be a passive shape. Good. And think about sending your breath into the entire back line of your body. Giving yourself the slow and steady breath nourishing every muscle, every fiber of your being. It's so good, friends. Lift all the way up tall spine and then bring your knees back in towards one another. I'm gonna scooch back a little bit. You can as well if you'd like. Reach your right leg straight out in front of you and then plant your left foot outside of your right leg. Good, try and get nice and tall here. So you might even pull your chest towards your left thigh. Lift up tall spine, big inhale. As you exhale, slow twist to the left side. That right arm or right hand can wrap around your left leg and left fingertips can be back and behind you. Good, big breaths into this twist. And think about expanding your belly towards your left thigh. You got it, take one more, inhale. And exhale. 
Lovely. Bring everything back to center. Left foot comes down, extend left leg long, bend the right knee, and then cross the right foot so it lands outside of your left thigh. Again, draw your chest towards your right knee. Inhale to lengthen up tall spine. Keep that length. Exhale, twist to the right. Left arm can wrap around the right leg. Right fingertips come behind you to help support the length in your spine and breathe deeper than you're used to. Good, let the right shoulder get a little bit heavier. Take one more breath, inhale, and exhale. Good, find your way back to center. Right leg can reach down to meet the left, arms lift up overhead, big breath in. Exhale, start to hinge forward with your chest. Now just hold, like hinge forward maybe two inches. Really small, okay? Hold here, feel length in your spine. Okay, now flex your feet. Think about your toes drawing towards your face. Low belly scoops up and in towards your spine like your belly is trying to pull away from your pant line. Take another inhale. Exhale, try and lead with the chest, drop down one more inch. So we're using a lot of activation in this stretch. Think about lifting your knees up. So you're trying to engage the quads. Good, inhale. Exhale, sink down another inch. Good, one more breath, inhale. Now exhale, let everything melt. Let your spine round, let your head drop. Breathe in and breathe out. Okay, come all the way up. You can just swivel onto one hip, legs come back in behind you. Find a tabletop position. Wrists under your shoulders, knees under your hips, spread through your fingers. Now take an inhale, drop your belly, lift your tailbone, lift your gaze up. Exhale, round through the spine, tuck your chin into chest, puff up through the middle of your back. Good, inhale, belly lowers, gaze lifts, heart is open. Exhale to round, feel that beautiful expansion in the back line of your body. Take one more, breathe in. And breathe out. Come back to neutral and just start to create big circles around with the hips in any direction. Yeah, Ooh, my knees just popped, did you hear that? <laughs> Whatever little snap, crackle, pops are gonna come out, let it happen, okay? Make sure you're breathing. We're really focusing on that dance between breath and movement. Inhale. And exhale. Find your way back to neutral. Tuck your toes, lift your hips up, and reach them all the way back, finding your first downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Now I want you to lift your heels intentionally, okay? Keep the heels lifted. Put a tiny micro bend in your knees, really small. Try and hold that. Now lift your tailbone up even higher. Nice, feel that extra bit of length you just created in your spine. Oh yeah, feels so good. Now you can stay with the heels lifted, or you might try to drop them a little bit further. They don't have to touch the mat as long as it doesn't compromise the length you just created in your spine. Take a breath, inhale. And exhale. Good, now gaze forward and start to walk towards the top of the mat. Forward fold, Uttanasana. Let your upper body drape heavy over top of your legs. Maybe even find a sway side to side. Let the head go. Awesome. Upper body lands back at center. Inhale for a halfway lift. Hands come to your shins. Reach the crown of your head forward. So a lot of length in your spine. Exhale, fold, melt it all down. Inhale to rise all the way up. Stand up, reach up, gaze goes up. Exhale, hinge from the hips, forward fold. Bring it back down. Halfway lift, inhale. Good, exhale, plant the hands, step your left leg all the way back and hold. Now I want you to keep your left hand down, right arm reaches up and open, a big twist to the right side, one breath in and out. 
Right hand comes down to frame your front foot. Step left foot up to meet the right, and then start to bend your knees, send your hips back, reach the arms forward, and up, Ukitasana, chair pose, deep hinge of the hips back. If arms up overhead feels a little bit weird in your shoulders today, it's just not feeling quite right, we're going for what feels good, okay? It's a feel good flow. So you might bring your hands right in front of your chest. That's exactly where I need to be today. Can you sink your hips down one more inch? Good, feel into your strength. Now rise up, stand up, reach up, breathe in. Exhale, forward fold to melt. Halfway lift, inhale, hands to shins, reach through the top of your head. Exhale, plant the hands, step right foot all the way back, keep the right toes tucked, okay? Right hand stays down, inhale, left arm reaches up and open. Big, beautiful twist to the left side, take up space, inhale. And exhale, left hand comes down. Good, step right foot up to meet the left, bend both knees, come back into your chair pose. Utkatasana, once again, decide where your arms wanna land. Deep hinge of the hips back. Make sure your knees are tracking in line with your big toes and your second toes. Breathe in. Exhale, sink down another inch. You've got this, yes you can. Rise up, strong legs, inhale to reach. Exhale, hinge and forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands and step one leg back, then the other, landing in your high plank, or right away you can drop your knees down. Okay, this is a modified high plank. You decide where you wanna be and what feels good. Big inhale. Exhale, bend your elbows, lower all the way down to your belly all the way down. Once you get here, bring your feet out as wide as the mat and then tent your fingertips outside of the mat. This is definitely one of my favorite movements. Your elbows are stacked over top of the wrists. Inhale to press into the fingertips, lift the chest any amount. Exhale, drop your right shoulder, look over to the left side. Oh, beautiful stretch. Inhale, lift back up through center. Exhale, drop the left shoulder, look to the right. Good, inhale, lift through center. Exhale, lower everything down. Bring your feet back in line with your hips, hands beside your chest, tuck your toes. Push back to a tabletop position. Wrists under shoulders, knees under hips, hold right here. Now reach your right arm forward and extend your left leg back and behind you. If there's any wobbles, embrace it. You've got it, focus on the shape, focus on this moment. Can you feel your right hand in line with your right shoulder? Left foot in line with your left shoulder. Big breath in and big breath out. Good, now bring your right hand down, keep the left leg where it is, tuck the right toes, lift the hips, lift the left leg up and back, three-legged down dog, keep that left leg lifted, but put a bend into the left knee and peel that left hip open. Imagine it can stack over top of the right, big breath into the front of that left hip. Amazing, now slowly shift forward, left knee comes through towards the chest and plant your foot up in between your hands. Good, look at your back toes, so your right foot, and then drop your right heel down so that your foot is on a 45 degree angle. Imagine you could draw a line from your right toes all the way up to the top right corner of your mat. So that's about 45, okay? Reach the arms forward, rise on up, warrior one, virabhadrasana one. Hip bones are facing right out in front of you. Imagine your feet are on railroad tracks. Breathe in. Exhale, sweep your arms back and behind. Interlace fingers or hold on to opposite elbows and press fingertips into forearms keeping the heart open, maintain your lunge, take a full breath in first, exhale, hinge forward as low as you wanna go, but maintaining the strength and foundation in your lower body, good. Feel the left hip draw back in line with the right. Big inhale and exhale. Now lift your chest up, keep the lunge in the legs, arms reach up overhead, breathe in, 
Exhale, hands come down to frame the front foot. Step left leg back to meet the right and land in your plank of shape, or your plank of pose. Your plank of choice, okay? On the toes or down on the knees. Lower chaturanga, elbows graze the side body halfway down or all the way. Inhale to lift your chest. Baby cobra or upward facing dog, use the strength of the back body to help keep the chest lifted. Exhale, lower down. Now tuck the toes, push back to a tabletop, land right here, wrists under shoulders, knees under hips. Left arm reaches forward, good. Right leg reaches back. Hold a strong, long line in your body from left fingertips all the way to the right toes. Wrap the rib cage in, low belly draws up and in. Big inhale and exhale. Keep the right leg where it is. Left hand comes down. Tuck the left toes. Here we go, ready? Reach the hips up. Right leg lifts up and back for your three-legged downward facing dog. It's a fun transition, isn't it? Now keep the right leg high. Put a bend into the right knee. Peel the right hip open. Squeeze the right glute. That's gonna help to open up space in the front of the right hip. Let your head go, my friends. Breathe in and out. Now slow shift forward, right knee comes through towards the chest, plant your foot up in between the hands, look at your back foot, ground your left heel down, left toes turn out to 45 degrees. I can feel that left calf muscle getting a good stretch already, how about you? Reach the arms forward, rise up, Virabhadrasana one, warrior one, so it's a shorter stance compared to your warrior two, and your hip bones are facing the front and top edge of your mat. Good, big inhale. Exhale, arms come back in behind you. You can either interlace your fingers or you can hold on to opposite elbows. Your chest is open, but I actually want you to now reverse your grip. So take the grip behind you. That feels a little bit different. Here we go. One breath in. Exhale, hinge forward any amount. It might be one inch, maybe a little bit lower, maybe a little bit lower. Both options, all options are great, but just make sure that you're feeling the strength into the lower body, grounded heavy into the legs. Inhale and exhale. Awesome, lift the chest back up, maintain the lunge, reach the arms up overhead, big inhale. Exhale, hands come down to frame the front foot, step right foot back to meet the left, landing in your plank of choice, high plank or down on the knees, inhale. Exhale, lower halfway or all the way, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, lift the chest. Cobra or upward facing dog, really trying to lift the thighs off the floor if you're in that up dog. Exhale, tuck the toes, hips lift up, reach them back, downward facing dog. Awesome job, everybody. Two breaths, inhale. And exhale, maybe pedaling out the heels, bending one knee and then the other. Try to smooth and lengthen out your breath. Come back to that intention we set at the beginning of class of keeping the breath really full. One more, breathe in. And breathe out. Good, now gaze forward and tiptoe to the top of the mat. Forward fold once again, but this time heel toe your feet out as wide as the mat. Let the upper body drop. Reach for opposite elbows and start to bend into one knee and then the other as you let the upper body shift and sway side to side. Good, maybe even drawing this like figure eight motion with the elbows. Let it be really fluid here. I think in one of my other classes, we did something like this. And I said, imagine you're moving like seaweed. <laughs> and it resonated with a whole lot of you, okay? So let's do it right here. We are the seaweed underwater. <laughs> breathe in <laughs> and breathe out. Alrighty, come back through to center, pretty please. Lift up to your fingertips. Almost try to find a halfway lift. Keep the legs right where they are. So they're about mat's distance. Walk your hands over towards your right foot. Keep the chest lifted. Now you can stay right here. It might be a lot of stretch in that right leg, or you can keep the left hand grounded. Bring the right hand towards your chest and open your chest towards the right side. 
Good. Try to keep your right hip down in line with the left. Inhale and exhale. Bring your right hand down. Try to keep your chest lifted so you're still high on the fingertips. Travel the hands over to the left side towards your left foot. Again, you can stay right here or your right hand stays down. Slowly bring your left hand towards your left hip. Open your chest towards the left side. Good, one intentional breath. And release back through center. Let the upper body drop heavy. Good, ground your hands. Step one foot back and then the next, but then lift the hips up so you land in a downward facing dog. Big breath in. And out. Carefully come on down to your knees, zip your legs up nice and close, drop your hips back to your heels, let your forehead melt down, chest towards your thighs, and then reach your arms back alongside your body. Let the tops of your forearms ground. Good, just a different variation of your child's pose where we give opportunity of openness into the entire back line of your body. I'm starting to let everything slow down, but still choosing to be here in your practice, choosing to be here with yourself. And one more breath. Awesome. Now slowly start to peel up inch by inch, hips drop to the heels, reach the arms up overhead. Inhale, cactus shape the arms, open up through the chest. And as you exhale, I want you to just sweep the arms forward, round the spine, tuck the chin into chest. Like a seated cat cow, inhale, arms open to cactus, chest lifts, gaze lifts. Exhale, push the arms forward, round the spine, tuck chin into chest. One more, breathing in. And breathing out. You got it, now lift up tall spine, inhale. Exhale, let the hands and arms melt down. Gently come on off to one hip. Bring your feet out in front of you, so knees are bent, feet are grounded. Round your spine, roll down to your back body, slow and steady, all the way down, head and shoulders rest. Bring your feet in so they're right underneath of your knees. Good, and then I want you to cross your left leg directly over top of the, or right leg over top of the left. So like curtsy legs almost, or just crisscross legs rather. Your thighs are somewhat connected. Good, now slowly start to bring your knees up in towards your chest, but keep your low back grounded. This is a pretty deep hip stretch. You're gonna reach left hand for the right ankle or the shin, right hand for the left ankle or shin. And then as you lower head and shoulders down, think about drawing the ankles a little bit more towards your shoulders. Whew. If it's way too much, my friends, if you're like, Michaela, give me another option, I totally feel you. Sometimes the shape is not serving me either. Instead, you could take a figure four, okay? Left foot comes down to the ground, right ankle is on your left thigh, and you can just gently press into that right thigh. So it's either that grounded figure four or you're in Gamukasana, cow face pose. Big breaths. Send your breath right into that space of your body or spaces that are calling out for you, that are asking for some assistance. Now very gently bring left foot down if it's not there already and bring right foot down as well. Let's just take a diamond shape with the legs. Let the knees open wide, bottoms of the feet come to touch. If it feels okay for you, rest your hands on your hips. One big breath, inhale and exhale. Good. 
good. If you need to stay in this shape a little bit longer before we find the other side, you totally can. Otherwise, we ground the feet. And if you already know the figure four is where you wanna be, you go for it. Otherwise, left thigh is gonna cross over top of the right. So your thighs are fairly close together. And then bring your legs up so that your knees are a little bit closer towards your chest while keeping your low back grounded. Reach right hand for left ankle or left shin and left hand for right ankle or right shin. Ooh, one side is going to hold a different story compared to the other. Yeah, if this is a bit too much today. Right foot down, figure four shape, left ankle crosses over the right thigh and you can just press into that left thigh. Good, and sometimes it takes just a little bit of adjusting to notice what feels good for you. <laughs> for me, this shape is kind of like a, a mind buster <laughs> at the same time. I'm like trying to lift my right leg up a bit higher, but then my left leg happens, or <laughs> my left leg moves because my right hand's attached to my left leg. You know what, let's just, <laughs> Let's just find acceptance where our body's at today and try to, you know, not shift or change or perfect anything because where you are right now is perfect. One more breath, inhale and exhale. Yeah, now gently release right foot down left foot down heel toe your feet out as wide as the mat arms land in a cactus shape and just take some slow windshield wipers of the knees side to side dropping them to one side and then the other neutralizing through the hips through the spine Good, let's all land at center. Keep your feet as wide as the mat. Drop your knees in towards one another, creating space across your low back. Maybe keep your arms in that cactus shape or maybe bring your hands to your belly or your, or your rib cage. One of your biggest breaths yet, okay? Inhale through the nose, breathe in for three, for two, for one, and empty it out. Let yourself be still for one more sweet moment. And maybe even invite a smile. Be proud of yourself for showing up today, taking care of you. And try your very best to pull this energy off of your mat and into the rest of your day. Feel free to stay lying down as long as you wish. But if you'd like to finish off your practice with me, you can just rock on up to a seated position. I'll meet you right here. <sighs> maybe hands in a prayer gesture, maybe hands over your heart. Slight tuck of the chin into the chest. Bowing down to yourself, honoring yourself and this beautiful practice of yoga that teaches us so much more than just about the physical connection we have with our body. Thank you so much for moving with me today and for trusting me to guide you through. Can't wait to see you next time, friends. Have a lovely day.